Thank you for listening to PoliticalStorm.com. I'm John Small. This morning, as I was getting ready for the day and watching the old television programs to see what was going on in the news, I thought it was kind of interesting. I was flipping again back and forth between CNN News and Fox News to see who had something interesting to say. And Fox News had a guest that was on the program that I thought was really kind of a fascinating thing that they were talking about. They were talking about how people are afraid to admit that they're supporting specific candidates this year. You know, they're afraid to say, yeah, I support Clinton because people attack them, or I really support Trump because people attack them. And they feel that that's one of the reasons that the surveys are so skewed. And they did a blind survey where your information wasn't attached to it at all, and Trump did way better in that one. And it got me to thinking of a conversation I had with a friend of mine. He had a vehicle that was vandalized because it had a Trump sticker on it. Now, do we know for sure that's why it was vandalized? No, we don't know for sure that's why it was vandalized, because it was vandalized. Here's what he knows. He never had a problem with his vehicle being vandalized in the past. He put a Trump sticker on it, and the very first day that the Trump sticker was on it, his vehicle was vandalized. (laughs) He took the Trump sticker off. It hasn't been vandalized since, so I don't know. Maybe it was just an unlucky day, and it was vandalized for no particular reason. But one of the things that I do want to point out, I agree with this survey. I, right now, would not stick a sign in my front yard for whichever candidate because of fear of retaliation from people who don't like that candidate. This is one of the weirdest elections ever where we're really voting against somebody more so than voting for somebody. There are people that are not fans of Donald Trump. There are people that are not fans of Hillary Clinton. And it's not that they're saying, hey, vote for this candidate. They're saying vote against this candidate. Now, let's talk for a second here about some things that are kind of interesting statistics that the media won't tell you about. Right now, the media, if you watch almost any channel, they talk about how well Hillary Clinton is doing. Why is it that Hillary Clinton has 5 million Facebook likes and Donald Trump has over 10 million Facebook likes? So if people like Hillary Clinton so much, wouldn't you think that she would have at least as many Facebook likes. Let's talk about Twitter followers. She's tweeting, and she has 8.1 million followers, while Donald Trump has over 10.6 million followers. How about YouTube Live viewers, people who watch them on YouTube? Hillary Clinton, not doing too bad. 500 viewers. Well, unless, of course, you look at Donald Trump, 30,000 viewers for their Facebook, I'm sorry, for their YouTube Live videos. Now let's talk about Instagram, because, you know, maybe that's the thing. People are just not on all these other things. they never heard of this Twitter stuff. Instagram, Hillary Clinton, 1.8 million Instagram followers. Meanwhile, Donald Trump, 2.2 million Instagram followers. How about Reddit subscribers? This is the one that I thought was the most interesting. Uh, Reddit subscribers, Hillary Clinton has 24,429 Reddit subscribers. Well, Donald Trump has 197,696, almost 200,000 Reddit subscribers. And again, she has 24,000. Now, to make a little more perspective on that, Hillary Clinton has 24,000 Reddit subscribers. A page called Hillary Clinton for Prison has 55,000 Reddit subscribers, so twice as many. There's more people who want to see her in prison than want to see her as president uh, through the page Reddit. So why is it that in the media... Everything is all, you know, sunshine and lollipops, and they're talking about how awesome things are for Hillary Clinton. But when you're looking at social media, you start to discover that maybe that's not the case. Once again, if you would like to refute this, if you've got some evidence that's saying, hey, Hillary Clinton's doing awesome, just look at all these polls. Well, we'll look at the polls, but then look at who's doing the polls, and let's see if they're even accurate. More and more and more times we're finding out that these things are not accurate at all. I was just recently on a a live poll where as soon as you click the button, it shows what everybody voted for, and it was very much skewed towards Donald Trump. I mean, huge, 70%. So, again, the mainstream media doesn't talk about those. They talk about the polls that they want to talk about. So fascinating stuff out there. And my question for you is this. And if you go to politicalstorm.com, and if you go to this podcast on politicalstorm.com, and please comment on this podcast with the answer to this, would you put a candidate sign in your yard during this election? Donald Trump sign, 
Hillary Clinton sign, Gary Johnson sign, none of the above sign. I don't know. Let me know. Would you put somebody's sign in your yard? Or if you would not put a sign in your yard, let me know why you would not. And I'm, I'm serious. You can even go on and you can comment anonymously without creating an account and all of that. But I would love it if you would create an account. I'd love it if you'd actually start chiming in and maybe writing some articles for politicalstorm.com. It's absolutely free to sign up. It's a great opportunity for you to have a platform during this political season. So, again, go to the website politicalstorm.com. And if you sign up through the Sunny Radio link, in addition to having that platform, we'll also be reaching out to one lucky person each week to uh, do a little radio interview with them as well to kind of talk about their perspective. So sign up at politicalstorm.com. It's absolutely free. And, again, make sure you comment on this podcast at politicalstorm.com to let me know, would you stick a sign in your yard this year? And if you would not, why not? Please comment now. For politicalstorm.com, I'm John Small.